Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And in the last video I did a review on the upcoming update of Procreate, Procreate 5.4. It's now still in beta and I got a lot of uh, replies on that video and a lot of you are disappointed and had other requests, you know, for Procreate to be improved. And the best way to get that in front of the developers of Procreate, which is Savage Interactive, is go to the discussion board of Procreate. And I'll leave a link below this video. And they're quite active on the discussion boards. And if you have some requests or there are some, uh, well, a lot of requests on updates for uh, Procreate, then they add uh, that they're you know, considering the update or that they're already working on the update or on a new feature in Procreate. So go to the discussion board and there you, know, you see what they're working on and they are quite transparent in what they're doing with Procreate and also with Procreate Dreams. I forgot to mention some features in the Procreate 5.4 beta and here I'm just going to tell you some of the updates I forgot in the first video. In Procreate 5.4 you now will be able to select icons for your brush sets. Before you just had the default icon. Now you can choose between different icons. Tap on the brush set, then a menu will open. Tap on select icon, there you can choose your icon. A lot of the brushes, brush sets and libraries are saved automatically in the files app. They now have a separate folder for the brushes. When you tap on it, you will see all the brush libraries you have in Procreate. These also have subfolders for your brush sets. When you work on a canvas, you will have a color history in your colors panel. The color history was only visible on bigger iPads. If you have an iPad mini, the color history will also be included with this new update. When you work in Procreate and use a lot of different brushes, you can find the brushes you have used in the section Recent Brushes. In Procreate 5.4, recent brushes will be available in the brush library you're working in. It doesn't show the brushes you have worked in in other libraries. In the layer panel, there is a new blending mode called Shade. I compared the Shade Blend mode to the other blend modes and discovered that it's similar to the Darken Blend mode. I don't see any difference. I still need to find out what this new blend mode is used for. If someone knows the difference, please let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. In the upcoming videos, I will review all of the new 144 brushes, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!